lately i've been spending a ton of time going through all of ableton's features and live devices and i've just come across a couple things that every ableton producer needs to know the first thing we got to talk about is the 808 and crash distortion effect or you could also use an open hat I've come across a really easy way to get this effect anytime you want it. First, what we want to do is sidechain the 808 to the melodies. So what you're going to want to do is throw an envelope follower on your 808 channel. We're going to go ahead and set this first value to 50% so that it starts halfway through the EQ. And then we're going to set the second value to zero so that it goes all the way down. Let's throw an EQA on our melody group. And then we're going to go back to the envelope follower and we're going to map this to the gain of the first point on the 808. We can go ahead and set this point right around 150 hertz. So now when the 808 hits, it's gonna duck that entire amount. Now you need that crash or open hat to play at the same time as your 808 so that they smash together and the 808 passes the melody and it's able to clip on your soft clipper while the open hat is playing and it just gives you that lovely effect. The next thing we have to talk about is how to do accurate panning in Ableton. So you've probably panned the this left and right before and it works to an extent but did you know if you actually right click on this and then you select split stereo pan mode it's going to allow you to affect the left or right side individually and this allows you to get a precise panning on the left and right channel i'm excited to share this one with you guys it's called gratis hits at least i think that's how you pronounce it but it's from the guys at max for cats and it's a bunch of free devices that you guys can use in ableton did i say free yes i did let's check this out this first one is dope it's called anti-warp and it allows you to unwarp the sample and affect it in different ways to get some experimental results and i found a really cool way to use this let's check this out i'm gonna solo the drums in the 808 in the drop of this beat and what i'm gonna do is open up an audio rack set it to resampling and go ahead and record that out from there i'm gonna load up this anti-warp on an audio track and then i'm gonna go ahead and place that as a clip in here and i believe this is the only way to do it so you just got to place it as a clip in the session view what i found works best is if you actually make this 16 bars so that that you have a lot of room to work with from here we're going to turn on looping and now we can start affecting this loop without actually warping it so we can change this speed we can have it go forward or reversed and we can even mix it into the original signal if you want to do something like that but you can come up with some crazy intros if you do something like this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another audio track again put this into resampling solo this and the one with this anti-warp plugin on it and i'm going to go ahead and incrementally ramp up this speed using my keyboard and we're going to get a crazy intro here And you can even line up this last snare here, kind of where the snare would be in this loop. And then you can let it kind of play out until the next drop. If you want to get real crazy with it, you could even throw a reverb on here, turn up the decay time and have the reverb play out until the actual drop comes in. They also included this MIDI monitor device that tells you all of the incoming data, such as the keys that you're pressing, the pitch, and different things like that. So that can be useful to some people. But if you click this thing in the little corner right here, I love this. It's like a little built-in visualizer. They also added this dope instrument called Bertha, and it allows you to get some really dope sounding organs right out of the box. When we look at this thing, you can adjust the tones and pitch of them by clicking over here. You have the volume in blue on the bottom. You have your attack, decay, sustain, and release, and a couple other things to get you going crazy crazy with this. I mean, just check out how this sounds. They also have this XY gesture, but we're going to talk about that in just a second. First, I have to show you this dope feature that I just stumbled across. I've always seen this in Ableton. And I didn't think much of it. I don't know why, but this ball right here can actually control a bunch of variables that you want to set, or at least two of them, right? What you can do is when you load in a plugin, sometimes they'll be in a list like this if there's just a few of them. But if there ends up being a lot of different things that are modulatable, you actually have to click this arrow down right here. You have to press configure, and then you go into the plugin and you click on the different things and they'll show up in this list 
right here. Then after that, you can press configure again, close this down, and from the list, you can select whichever ones you want. But it basically gives you an X and a Y axis, and it allows you to control how it sounds using those. So let's say I wanted to put this transient shaper on my 808. I might want to put my attack in one of these, and then let's go ahead and put the pump in another one. So the pump is going to allow me to shorten up the initial transient and the attack is going to boost it. So it's really going to allow me to shape it. So now I can listen to my 808 and I can go and zoom around like this until I dial it in perfectly. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm using plugins like reverbs, transient shapers, and different things like this, there might be one or two parameters that I have to go back and tweak and then go back again and tweak to fit it in the mix perfectly. So this is the perfect time to go ahead and put those in the X and the Y, and then you can just go ahead and tweak it back and forth and figure it out. This is such a time saver and such a dope feature. I can't believe I didn't know about this any earlier. So, But if you want to do this with one of Ableton's stock plugins, you can't really do that out of the box, but luckily there's a free download for a max for live instrument and this one's called xy pad fine or you might want to automate the x and y and that's where we go back to this pack because the xy gesture here allows you to kind of automate it inside this little thing and record it and as soon as you let go it starts doing it for you automatically we've just opened enrollment to our vip group for a few members who are interested the audio hacker vip is our private group of producers who all receive drum kits and sample packs every month as well as live and in-depth mixing videos all of our Ableton project files, and so much more. And this is the best way to support our channel so that we can continue to make these videos every single week. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, go ahead and visit the link in the description below. It's called the Audio Hacker VIP. And yeah, we hope to see you inside. So let's map it to the mix of this crystallizer plugin here. Again, you're gonna go ahead and configure. You're gonna click on it so that it shows in this box. And then when you press map here, we can go ahead and click on this. Now we can control it from there. And let's map the Y axis to the mix on this reverb right here. So now we can just play around with it to see how we want it to act. Man, thank you guys so much for watching this one all the way to the end. If you guys enjoy this, comment below. Do you want to see me do more of these kind of videos where I go over features and these different free Ableton Live packs? Because there's a bunch of them and there's a lot of really creative stuff that I think would be super fun to talk about. So let me know in the comments below. Smash that like button. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe. We'd love to have you. We upload videos like this every single week. And besides that, man, stay fresh and I'll catch you guys again in the next one. Peace.